trusting, Lord, in Thee, blessed love of Calvary. On the end, I cross, I bow, safely, Jesus, safely now. My dear friends, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist of Love. So my dear friends, we are pleased to announce to you the program on every Friday. We will have the Way of the Cross at 5 o'clock and we will have the Retreat at 6 o'clock. Besides, every day at 3 o'clock, we have the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and 4 o'clock, we have the Holy Rosary. We ask you, my dear friends, very sincerely to share the link with others every day so that we are able to reach out with the Word of God to maximum people. Let everyone profit during this time of Lent to save their soul and save others with the help of God. Let us present our intentions before this Holy Eucharist. Ask the Lord to bless Russia and Ukraine with peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us call to mind all our sins and our failures. Let us ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have failed. My dear friends, with a contrite heart, let us confess together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers, my sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. And therefore I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Prophet Isaiah, chapter 58, verses 1 to 9. Thus says the Lord your God, Cry out, full-throated and unsparingly. Lift up your voice like a trumpet blast. Tell my people their wickedness and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day and desire to know my ways. Like a nation 
that has done what is just and not abandon the law of their god they ask me to declare what is due them please to gain access to god why do we fast and you do not see it afflict ourselves and you take no note of it lo on your fast day you cry out your own pursuits and drive all your laborers yes your fast ends in quarreling and fighting striking with wicked claw would that today you might fast so as to make your voice heard on high is this the manner of fasting i wish of keeping a day of penance that a man bow his head like a reed and lie in sackcloth and ashes do you call this a fast a day acceptable to the lord this rather is the fasting that i wish releasing those bound unjustly untying the thongs of the yoke setting free the oppressed breaking every yoke sharing your bread with the hungry sheltering the oppressed and the homeless clothing the naked when you see them and not turning your back on your own then your light shall break forth like the dawn and your wound shall quickly be healed your vindication shall go before you and the glory of the lord shall be your rear guard then you shall call and the lord will answer you shall cry for help and he will say here i am the word of the lord thanks be to god a responsorial psalm a heart contrite and humble o god you will not spurn a heart contrite and humbled o god you will not spurn have mercy on me god in your goodness in the greatness of your compassion wipe out my offense thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sins cleanse me your response a heart contrite and humbled o god you will not spurn for i acknowledge my offense and my sin is before me always against you only have i sinned and done what is evil in your sight your response a heart contrite and humbled o god you will not spurn for you are not pleased with sacrifices should i offer a burnt offering you would not accept it my sacrifice o god is a contrite spirit a heart contrite and humble o god you will not spurn your response a heart contrite and humbled o god you will not spurn gospel acclamation seek good and not evil so that you may live and the lord will be with you The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 9 verses 14 and 15. John's disciples came to Jesus and said, Why is it that we and the Pharisees fast? but your disciples do not jesus replied surely the bridegroom's attendants would never think of mourning as long as the bridegroom is still with them but the time will come for the bridegroom to be taken away from them and then they will fast the gospel of the lord 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, we have begun with the fasting, with prayer and alms giving. These are the three elements that we need to remember during the time of Lent. It is a one-to-one -one relationship with God when it comes to the vertical line relationship. If you consider God is above, our relationship with God is in prayer, is in fasting, and it is in being charitable to the Word of God. When it comes to the horizontal relationship, it is a relationship with my own brothers and sisters. How do I execute my relationship during the time of Lent with the people around me? Be it my spouse, a husband and wife. Be it my children, my parents, my teachers, my priests, religious around me community members, this is for religious priests and nuns. How do I relate with other? My relationship with God is executed by my relationship with my brothers and sisters. I cannot say I am praying all the time, I am fasting all the time, until and unless my relationship with my brothers and sisters is proving my relationship with God. There cannot be relationship with God without relating with my own brothers and sisters in a proper mannerism, in a proper behavior, in a balanced way of life. Therefore, in fasting, in prayer and almsgiving, there is a different type of a discipline. When the disciples of Jesus were not fasting, the John's disciples come to Jesus and say, Why do your disciples do not fast when we and the Pharisees are fasting. Jesus knew his time. He knew his days. And probably he has halted his disciples with a new book of law. That the Son of Man is to be handed over to the elders and has to suffer and die. And he is going to be there just for some time. So they should be with Jesus at that time. And the time will come very severe for fasting, for prayer, and showing concern for each other. Therefore, Jesus tells the disciples of John, when the bridegroom is with them, at the time of the wedding season, no one will fast. But certainly, when the bridegroom is taken away. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the time when the bridegroom is suffering. This is the time when the bridegroom is on the way to Calvary and going to die for us on the cross. We are well aware. Therefore, we should open our eyes and embrace the bridegroom whom we already know is undergoing sufferings, struggles. 
we need to place all our struggles and sufferings at the feet of this bridegroom, Jesus the Lord, the Savior. We have nothing to worry. We should not be tensed in life today because Jesus is taking control of our lives. Why are we in fear? If we have court cases, if we have anyone placing allegations, false allegations against us, we have nothing to fear, but be confident that God is there. Even if the judgment is not for you in your favor, the truth is known to you and to God. The judgments of this world are not the judgments of God. The judgments of this world are based on your position, your financial conditions, your give and take status. But the conditions in heaven are based on your just ways, on truth, and basically on mercy and compassion. So to my dear friends, when God is letting Isaiah know to his people that you have a lot of wickedness, you need to truly fast, cry out to God aloud like the trumpet blasts, and the Lord is there to hear them. Yes, my dear friends, we need to shout aloud during this time of Lent, asking for mercy, for compassion, and asking for God's graces to transform, to change, and to become a new creation in the eyes of God and in the eyes of one another. Amen. Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds, and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, Graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold, you take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Mother, for all the necessary graces, both material and spiritual, seeking for peace in Russia and Ukraine, that there may not be any more destructions, but talks for unity and harmony. We pray for all those people who are struggling there, who are stuck up. Lord, bless them with good life and good home return. Lord, we pray to you through our mother for various intentions, praying for the sick, the needy, the poor, praying for those who have lost their near and dear ones, praying for all the Christians during the time of Lent that we may show indeed to the whole world that we love you and we love everyone. Lord, we ask you to bring peace, joy, and happiness in our families and in our communities. Let us pray. For your mighty deeds, O God of mercy, May your people offer endless thanks, and by observing the age-old disciplines along their pilgrim journey, may they merit to come and behold you forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, may you be blessed during this day along with your family and friends.
Washes white and